Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys my personal tips on how to improve battery life on your iPhone running iOS 18.2. Now, I did go on YouTube to ask you guys, how's the battery life working for you running iOS 18.2? And to my surprise, a 46% of you guys, nearly 50% of you guys, say that the battery is great. So that is awesome news. However, a combined 40 and 14% of you guys say it's either okay or bad. Now, for those of you who are not having such a great experience with the battery life on your iPhone running iOS 18.2, this video is going to be for you because, again, I'm going to share my personal tips and recommendations that actually work to improve the battery life of your iPhone. So let's go ahead and dive right into the video. So the first thing I wanna talk about battery life on my personal device running iOS 18.2. This is after applying everything that I'm going to share with you guys in today's video. Now, I purposely did not charge this iPhone last night. I only charged it before going to bed and I left YouTube running in the background. As you can see, the next day I'm still a little above 20%. So that's pretty good here. Let's go into the battery section here and let me show you right there. So last night I charged it around midnight. As you can see right there, the green dot to about 76%, I believe it was. So yeah, 76%. And then I went ahead and unplugged it and left YouTube running in the background. And as you can see right there, it was consuming a lot of battery, obviously, as it was running and playing videos and things like that. So let me show you how I can get over seven to eight hours of on-screen time with these changes if you apply them onto your device running the latest iOS 18.2. So one of the main issues within the beta process for iOS 18.2 was that some applications continue to run in the background. So you want to make sure that you update all your applications on your device, even if you have the automatic app updates feature enabled on your iPhone. You want to jump into the app store here. You want to go into your account on the top right section, press and hold to swipe down and refresh. If there's any app updates, they'll populate right here as you just saw right there. You see that I now have certain app updates to do on my device, even if you have the automatic app updates and make sure you do update all your third-party applications. As I mentioned, one of the issues with iOS 18.2 that was causing battery drain was third-party applications running in the background. Now, the way you find out if there's any apps that are running in the background, you want to jump into the battery section here, and then you want to scroll down and take a look at see what applications. For example, you see here that WhatsApp background activity is at 1% consumption, but if this was above, I want to say 10%, you definitely want to go ahead and make sure that app is up to date so it doesn't consume battery in the background and if it does continue to do so you can always go back here go under general here under general you want to make sure that you find the app background refresh right here and make sure you turn off whichever application is consuming battery in the background by taking a look at that battery section so for example as i mentioned if whatsapp was above 10 percent, i want to go ahead and say you want to make sure you find the application and turn off background activity right there in order to prevent that app from continuing to drain the battery of your iPhone. But again, make sure that you update your apps before you take any additional action because app updates could fix any issues of background activity. Now, this next one may seem as a no-brainer, but in case you do not use dark mode, I recommend you apply dark mode onto your device. Obviously, you can find the dark mode toggle in control center or in the brightness toggle right here. And if you're using iOS 18.2 and you like to customize your device, I would recommend going into customization options and choosing a dark theme for example a dark icon and darker background just like so in order to reduce those white points and brightness and this would actually improve the battery life of your iphone for a good eight to ten percent believe it or not just using dark mode and dark mode theme applied onto your device. Now, if you want to take it even further, you can also go under accessibilities right here. You want to go under display and text size. And right here, if you scroll down, we have reduce white points. I like to keep that at around 60%. And you see there, it will reduce the white points. But again, that's only if you want to take it even further in order to go ahead and improve that battery life of your device. So there you guys have it. Just make sure that if you're not using dark mode, you definitely enable it on your device. Now, one thing I also recommend is always looking into location services for apps using location services all the time so you want to jump into settings you want to go under the privacy and security tab here in settings so scroll down and go into privacy and security go under location services and right here take a look at all your applications so the ones you're looking for 
is the apps that say always. So if you have an app that's always using your location, you want to make sure that you turn that off. You see right here, the weather application is always using my location. Now you have several options. You don't have to always share your location. You can use the location while using the application. And every time you launch the app, you'll be able to actually see the weather for your particular location. Now, if you select always, then obviously every time you have a widget on your home screen or you, you to go into the application for the weather, just for an example here, it will always have the actual weather, but it will be running in the background, consuming battery as is always tracking your GPS location in order to provide you with the relevant weather conditions at the moment. So any other application that you see here that you don't want using your location at all times, you want to make sure that you select while using. So that way, when you only use the application, location services are being used, therefore conserving the battery of your device. Make sure you look at all those apps in that list. And last but not least, if you like to use your iPhone as your GPS navigation in your car, you want to make sure that you download your maps for your local region. That way it's not constantly searching for your location or constantly reloading maps on your device. So for example, here in the Tampa Bay area in Florida, I can go ahead and download the entire map for this region. That way when I use Apple Maps, I don't always have to have that GPS trying to track the locations or, you know, refresh those maps because they'll be downloaded to my device, saving battery when I need it the most. So right here, go into your account in Apple Maps, go into offline maps, and then go ahead and add maps and make sure that you go ahead and download the maps for your particular location. So make sure that you go ahead and select right here, right? Let's go ahead and go ahead and download the maps. Here's an example for Boston. As you can see right there, I was traveling to Boston recently. So that was one of the suggestions. I can go ahead and download the maps completely for that region and if I'm there I don't have to continue using my GPS and things like that in order to provide me with relevant maps and navigation when I'm in that area so make sure that you download maps for your specific region and there you guys have it these are just simple tips and recommendations to improve the battery life these actually do work let me know in those comments down below come back to this video a week after you apply these changes and let me know if the battery life of your iPhone has actually improved thank you for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.